What are you doing here? I'm doing a double shift. What's it look like? How long have you worked here? A couple months. Yeah? Is the manager here? Do you have a supervisor? No. The... How long have they worked here? I'm not telling you. Yeah? Where do you live? I'm not telling you that either. Where's your manager live? Who? I used to. What, what, what are you doing here? What are I you, work here. What are you doing here? I work here. And how long have you worked here? Only a couple months. All right, all right. What's done is done. Just forget about the whole thing. Hi, my name is Amanda Wiss. Bill Mosley. Daniel Harris. Dick Warlock. George Romero. Kate Hodder. Robert England. Ronnie Blakely. C.J. Graham. And you're listening to Dean of Horror, Horror Texas. Texas. You gotta be fucking kidding This is Nathan. <laughs> this is Jeff. Yep. This is Ralph. And tonight we are doing the 1989 Pet Cemetery, the Ooh. original. If you listen to our last episode, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to re- redact some statements. That, that should made. be like how we open every show. <laughs> so if you listen to our last episode, we're sorry. <laughs> we're You're sorry. still here? Just constantly <laughs> apologize. You're still here? Awesome. Oh, we're going to apologize tomorrow. <laughs> See you next episode. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! So, hot off the heels of the newest Pet Cemetery that just released, we're wanted. We're doing the original. The original was when did it come out? Eighty nine. Eighty nine. Wow. Yeah. This predates me even watching movies. <laughs> you were just a gleam in your dad's eye. <laughs> oh no no no! I was I born? was around. I was around. Oh, I thought you were born. 90. But I was no 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 no. That was my little sister. No, I was in Saudi Arabia when this came out. Oh, that's oh awesome. Jesus! I don't know which one's worse. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of everything. Oh but, my god! <laughs> yeah, like the Saudi... and y'all make fun of me because I'm like, I, what movie is this? Well, the Saudi... I was in none of the countries. <laughs> it was like the Saudi cuts only sixty one minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much just shows a truck, a cat. <laughs> I just keep thinking of like uh, Chimpo from fucking Super Troopers. Maybe we should take another look. No, the butler is basically saying to Johannes Chimpo, <laughs> don't let the great Satan tempt you with the Western culture. You must remain true to the Taliban warlord. <laughs> Cool, Ironically enough, it still has the Pascal death. <laughs> the, the infidels. infidels. <laughs> This was definitely a VHS watch for me. Uh, I saw it again way too young. And, man, that uh, there's some scenes that just they stick with you. And this had quite a few scenes. I think uh, Pascal and Zelda were just like, man, to be imprinted on that kind of stuff that early, that was definitely the uh, the ghost in the dark that fucked with me for you know a, a lot of weeks after watching that movie at such a young age. Yeah, I, I, I saw this probably... Yeah, VHS, but probably in like ninety when it released on video. Probably ninety one, maybe. Uh, but yeah, this this caught I caught it way too fucking young, and it's kind of like The Shining. Dude. Like once you see certain films, like they just fucking yeah. I mean, it they flip with a you. switch, and then you're like, oh, that's it. You never really go 
previous. It's weird now that I watch it. I'm like fucking. You know, uh, what's her name? The Glenn or Glenda? What's Zelda? Zelda. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. The sister with the broken back. Yeah, she oh, twisted back. Edward. <laughs> 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 Motherfucker. Love Zangora. <laughs> I'm having my penis removed. <laughs> I'm going to be a woman. <laughs> I have to take action. Goodbye, penis. Can you quit talking, please? <laughs> Fucking bunny. I love it. Mr. Bunny, what's wrong? I heard you were becoming a lady. Oh, that. Mexico was a nightmare. We got in a car accident. He was killed. Our luggage was stolen. The surgeon turned out to be a quack. These men. (laughs) (laughs) I I couldn't keep going if it wasn't for these men. Love that movie. God, that's a classic. <laughs> Can, we should review that at some point, man. I'd like to do a lot of Tim Burton. Mm, not me. Ed Wood. Would no, like, I Wood. love I like Sleepy Hollow. Oh, yeah. Um, Beetlejuice. I think we talked about that one. Yeah, we didn't mention you, Beetlejuice Ralph before. Reasons. I was like, I really want to do that one. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be great. <sighs> but Too bad we'll never get to it. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, you never know. Fortunately, we did the Jeepers Creepers series. We haven't done like Tim Burton's. Yeah. No, we, for some reason, we just don't want to do the classics. I don't know why. Fuckers. I know, right? We should start. We're still about... in B. Bad movies. <laughs> <laughs> we got to work our way down. Yeah. That's going to be fun. Yeah, wait till C's. Jeez. Child plays. Oh, my God. Children of the corn. All the witchcrafts. <laughs> oh, God. Children of the corn. All 13 witchcraft films. C is going to oh, stand for oh. cock. <laughs> <laughs> so this movie, when it came out, it had a budget of $11.5 million Wow. And got a box off of a 57 Fucking million. $11 million? Yeah. Dude, $11 million. This is not look like $11 million. Those movie. trucks are fucking expensive. I'd buy that for a dollar. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> no. There's an amazing documentary about the making of this and the way that they found um, the Judd's house. And they had to find that perfect setting where the house Rossford. is kind of... Yeah. So it was like a... It was another house and then Judd's entire fucking house was like a complete facade house that they like built on top in front of the other house. Oh, shit. It was really cool how they did the, the, the set design. Oh, Random that's... thought. Go ahead. If we would have waited till tomorrow to record this, we'd be recording on the 30th anniversary of this movie. Oh, wow. It came out on April 21st, 1989. Jeez. Nobody's going to do this in September. Well, this nope. should tell you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when this, when this releases in September, you'll see how backed up we are. Yeah, That's yeah awesome. exactly. That's awesome, dude. Yeah, no, this is real. I, I, I did not know that. 30th anniversary. Wow. Yeah. God, Happy I'm fucking old. 30 birthday. Boom. <sighs> Yeah, I just turned 32. That's depressing. That's depressing. <laughs> <I'm> fucking old. <laughs> well, I, I, honestly, we haven't really grown. Squeaky chair. From, <laughs> like, if you've seen the remake, it's like we really haven't grown in 30 years from like when an original and a fucking remake We've is. Only grown where it counts. <laughs> <laughs> the cockles. <laughs> no, my waistline. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, um, dad bods are hot thing right now. Kill me now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <it's> hilarious. <laughs> um, so let's get right into the great acting that is this movie. Yep. Jeez. Are we talking about the uh, remake so, again? Wh- when did the... <laughs> 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 I wish. Uh, when did the book come out? I know you've read 83, it. 83, yeah. I believe. I have no idea. Good. I want to say it's 1983. If, cool. I, if my 83, if my right. memory serves right. me right, it was 1983 because right. I remember my dad having the book because awesome. he had to read it for college. All oh, right. Cool. And what so. was Mary Lambert thinking of uh, hiring Dale Midkiff? Which is what Creed? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I don't know. There's He's only scared. one good part with this guy. <clears throat> one. One. Where he screams, "No!" Like at that moment, it, like it rips my heart out. <laughs> Yeah, it's not 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 quite Vader. It's I, not I mean, quite Vader. <laughs> I know that we've been. I, 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 he was alive. I have a big problem with him too as an actor, but I have a problem with everybody except Gage and uh, you know Fred uh, Fred Gwynn. Gotcha. Yep. He was fucking great. 
But I think they set a base of normality that I think is appreciated in the film. I mean, there's always going to be better. Well, but but when they remade the movie for 30, eleven million dollars, should have been fucking like Mel Gibson for, up in this bitch for thirty yeah. years. Thirty years later in the remake, and they weren't able to find anybody better. They had thirty years to find a better you know, fucking actor, a way of casting the father, <laughs> and they still couldn't do it. So it just lets me believe, like you know what, maybe the guy in the original was, I don't know, not half bad, not half bad. Oh, I don't know. I think he placates uh, what I kind of give Jason. Uh, what fuck's his name, Jason? Uh, Bateman. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> I wish. That was six years. All right. Four, four six years. years. Four, six. Right. Well, four years. They didn't teach you how to count, I guess, huh? But I bet you guys got a bunch of stories. Right? I don't. I grew up kind of soft with the private schools and the little blazers, you know, and uh, everyone talked things out, you know. No one ever threw any blows. You know, still this day, never punched in the face. Imagine that. I'm pretty much panty waste. Yeah. I don't say this to be self deprecating. I just, you know. I don't have much of an opinion of myself. I'd much rather be like you guys, you know, bar fighters and big swinging dicks taking care of shit. You know, sadly, this is it. This is, you know, it's disgusting. Now, thanks, God. Dog pile of piss poor physique on top of a small cock and hereditary alcoholism. Appreciate it. That's the thing. <laughs> I, have, I think you could have given this literally to almost anybody in the remake, and it could have been far much better. Oh, yeah. I, well, yeah. I mean, look, I, I but actually... Now we're, I know we're getting off the actually, I actually praised the remake's bit. actor. I thought he was actually very decent he played it very jason clark jason clark he played it very baseline but but it's better than being shit line which okay. is what dale Metcalf is but what dale Metcalf does that the other guy jason clark does not do at all is he emotes like father fatherly love oh like come he, on that crying scene at the no cemetery. uh how about having just general interest in your kids you're taking your kid out of the 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 seat and he's like hey he's just talking to his kids he he emotes love to his children and that's what i kind of get from the original that's totally kind of missing from the remake for me i will say he's handsome he just, he's just a handsome he's guy to his kids <laughs> i mean just taking that time to listen to your kids i mean especially being busy like we all are i mean come on it's just showing those little scenes where he's talking to his kids and it's like engaged talking to church i mean there's just they set up that baseline of like Gonna get his nuts clipped. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I think there's a lot of strong things. What cause... colorful language? <laughs> oh, God. I I, the maid. Which uh, is cool that she tried to input that from the original. Well, here's the thing. Um, did they actually film this in Maine? I don't know. Because uh, everybody but the Creeds have a, a very main accent. Fred Gwynn's obviously is uh, but wasn't that make somewhat sense? natural, but, but forced. Uh, but the chick and a couple of the people, I caught a twang in their how they speak, and I was like, mm. oh, shit, maybe maybe they actually did film no, this. Yeah, they, no, all... they, did, they filmed, they filmed the, the original in Maine. But they all... Oh, there you go. But they all... F they acted the, the accent, though. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, no, they, they definitely they definitely did. But um, mm. fucking... What's his name? <laughs> Midkiff. Midkiff like nailed that accent down. I didn't notice his with it. He's oh, I, I, that's what I was gonna say. I wasn't. I was gonna think that since he's from a different state, moving to Maine with his family, I thought he would be the, the Creed family would be the ones not to have yeah, an accent. I didn't notice any accent with them. I, but like Fred Gwynn, like you could hear <clears throat> him force twang. Oh, he know he has he twang. Would, he pushed it because it was like for the character. And then, uh, like I said, the maid she sounded like oh, a yeah. straight up maniac. Manier? Manian? Manian. Manian? <laughs> what do they call him? Texan? Uh, Manian. <laughs> Armenian. Armenian. Armenian, yes. Armenian. <laughs> Dude, but she did with that whole, you know, I got the, the, the gut problem. <laughs> you know, she had a good... Wish I had a doctor. I never had much luck in my dairy anyways. Well, like... you might want to get them teeth fixed. Then yeah. you might get a doctor. I'll just hang myself. <laughs> well. Hey, that's how bad insurance was back in the early 80s. Hmm? Late 80s. You could have... Aim for uh, a vet, a veterinarian. That's what I was about to say. Like the insurance is still kind of in the same realm. Well, there's uh, a lot of coke flying around. You're in Maine. You just drive to New York. Jeez, a meth. <laughs> was there a meth problem in the '80s? I think so. It was like being. No, you're right. It was coke. It was coke. Yeah, I, I think. It... Let me think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was the first time you did coke, Jeff. <laughs> I don't know. Let me ask. Uh, let me call my friend Joel Silver. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I need a producer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's Anyhow. too fucking funny. But yeah, no. So this movie again, uh, fucking the the acting in it. 
uh, fucking like you said, everybody and it's really really doesn't do a whole hell of a lot. Like or at least like selling characters. Gage is probably like the most convincing out of all of them. <laughs> he plays a little kid very well. Yep. <laughs> very, very well. And outside of that, that's really that's really all it for the actors. <laughs> uh. There you go. Um, but <laughs> the best actor is Church, <laughs> if you really must know. Meow. No, I'm I'm gonna totally not agree at all with it. Well, Fred Gwynn. Oh yeah, but I, I think, think everybody does well in this film. I just I never I I'm I'm really on the 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 ball with y'all. Like yeah, I think it was a, not a great movie to go back to. Like it didn't really like wasn't amazing. But after seeing the lackluster of the remake, it really stands up as being like, hey, this is the one that's always gonna be. Probably the better one. I think if you're more from like you never read the book or you've never seen the film, I think you're always going to benefit from the remake. But the original had just that emotional fucking point that it was able to kind of sell and convey from the setup of the family coming to the house to the uh, interactions with the uh, the neighbor of Judd and then Judd taking them all as a family into the pet cemetery and those subtle interjections about uh, to Ellie about death and stuff like that. Like this is where the dead speak and stuff like that all the way to Pascal's death. I mean, you get a pretty steadier baseline, I think through uh story. Mm-hmm. Well, the screenplay is definitely better in this one. Yeah. You know, like I, like I said in the last episode, how Judd and the family meet, it wasn't right. How Judd and the creeds meet in this one is perfect. He pulls the kid off the road. Oh, you come here, little fella. Yeah. And, and then immediately gives him the warning. Hey, a lot of, a lot of traffic on this road. Yeah, this road claims down. a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. So I, I love, I love that he's more the neighborly information guy than what we got in the remake. He's just different. It's he totally a different. He uh, didn't have that neighborly for, vibe to him because, yeah. like, yeah. the first time you see him, he's in his, he's in his house smoking his cigarette, watching them from the window. Yeah, yeah. like close the curtains. Yeah, like if you're <laughs> trying, if you're trying to be creepy, fucking. You're selling it, you know. You're not. You're not doing the neighborly thing. Yeah. So whereas this one, like you said, it's he. He is. He is the source of information for this family that just moved here. You know, um, and it's just that bond is. It feels very absent whenever it comes to the remake. Like you don't. You don't get that from him. You don't see the development of how he becomes close with the family versus the remake. And this one, he's, he's taking them. He, he's he, the he, little hike. And stuff, yeah. He yeah. takes them on the little hike and all that. Whereas in this one, he just kind of like shows up, yeah. you know? Um, I always wish there was a moment where they explain more of why Judd doesn't just appreciate what, uh, the creeds have and just kind of let the cat lay, you know, mm-hmm. like, let's just approach death the way it should be approached. But I wish they would just uh, illuminate it just in the film, at least, you know, like the reasoning behind that, because that's always the downfall in this story. You know, if he had just done this, maybe this wouldn't happen. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't have had the movie you have, but it would have been fine, fun to have that character development for the audience. You know, like, was it to be like a Loki kind of person, like, like to meddle just to see what would happen to the creed? Like, is he strong enough as a man to, you know, like stand up to the situation or do the right thing or was he just provoking you know destruction to see it happen you know mm-hmm. almost like joker and fucking dark knight you know like let's see if this hero will you know fold and become the villain or will he rise above it and be something mm-hmm. better and like what he chooses to do with the cat and then his awareness of the cat coming back it's like you know he just slowly de-evolves you know as a man as a character which is great because you see the creed as a family union, but the film the film directs to like a father that has to like basically just create his own downward spiral because of his need for family. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't know. It was like it was like watching even thinking about the re- thinking about the remake. It's like it's all about the father. It's all about the father's need to keep that unit. You mm-hmm. know, and how. Well, I love the scene after the the funeral where he comes over to Creed's house and he's like you know, this is my fault. I blame myself. And it's like, he's actually taking it upon him. Like, Hey, I was trying to do a good thing, but it turned into a fucking horrible thing. And I know what you're fucking thinking. Don't do it. Yeah. And it's like, Oh shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So whereas in the, whereas in the remake, he doesn't really address it. 
but instead waits until the father comes to him and knocks him out and knocks his ass out. Even though he does say, Hey, I'm sorry for your loss. He, he still pulls the entire, don't do what you're thinking, but the sincerity, the, the coming with his tail between his legs, like, Hey, this is my fault. You yeah. know, it's not there. It's more like, Hey, don't do it. You yeah. know, that's it. What do you think about the director's choices to show the stories in little almost vignettes, you know, like you get Zelda's as a side story. You get a, a Judd's story about his dog as a side story. You get Judd's story about the, the man who buried his son up there. The, mm-hmm. from the army. Do you think that was, I think it's odd that, that he almost uh, implicated himself in a murder. Yeah. Yeah. You know, oh, old, old Bill wouldn't get out of the house and we lit it up. And it's like, whoa, you are saying that you murdered somebody yeah, like, right now. You like, might have created Freddy Krueger, you know? Yeah, it's like shit. <laughs> shit. It's like... Very good of... But yeah, I mean, he tells... I, I like the story. I like that he's coming from a place of experience. Yeah. And in the, you know, the remake, it's almost like, you know, he tells about his dog, but then the death of his wife, and we don't know if he buried her up there or what happened. Like, yeah, that, that, le- that was left open-ended. Um and they didn't take it in the book. Uh, the book, the wife was still alive. Yeah, the wife was still alive in the she book. She had a heart attack. Gotcha. And they just decided to excise all the character, all of that. Um, but I, I love that he's, you know, with church, he's trying to fix something a, for Ellie. For Ellie, you know, being a sweet girl. And, you know, he's like, I don't want your kid to go through that. It's a cat. What's the worst that could happen? Well,. Yeah, cats are fucking ferocious, man. <laughs> they're they're strong. So, <clears throat> him being like, I I believe he says a line of "I waited too long with the dog." Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe it'll work better with with Church. And then when Church comes back, par- I guess a little evil. I mean, all it does is hiss. It mm-hmm. seems a little angrier. Yeah, but it doesn't like directly attack anybody no, except no. Dell. Then and it, the, it scratches and, him. Yeah, it, well, it just fucking hates him for some reason. Mm-hmm. Creed. No. It's like always going yeah. after his ass, but yeah. it, it it's like he he's trying to like he, do I, a good thing by doing a bad thing, and mm, it just and hoping that worse thing yeah. because then uh, Gage gets killed, and he's like, "Fuck!" Now that I've told this guy about this, yeah, I can tell that he's going to try to bury his kid up there. Yeah. And I love that he goes over and, and don't you fucking do it, man. Yeah, <laughs> I know what you're thinking. What's weird is in the original, it fucking feels like since. Creed buries the cat. He now has dominion over it. Mm-hmm. Like he says, the cat's yours now. Right. It's your cat yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah, but in cat. the remake, when he comes back, the cat comes back. It's almost like it's a demon. Yeah. And it it kind of has dominion over Creed well, This one now. didn't mention but, any of the Wendigo shit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so. now the it doesn't mention the Wendigo, whereas in the remake it did. It made like a small mention of it, and that's it. And you could even see it in the remake. In the the um, force scene. Mm-hmm. And it's only for that split second. But I know in the book... They said they stated that whoever is buried up there, they just come back completely fine. It's just they're just a shell of themselves, just reenacting everything yeah. as it happens. Whereas in the whereas in this one, they come back mean as fuck for some weird reason and like murderous intent. Yeah, and, and that so. goes back. That goes back to the uh, that weird line that's given when they're burning the father and son. That mm. come, the son that comes back, he's like. Yeah. Uh, love, death, hate, living, almost in Frankenstein kind of, uh, um, you know, like voiced in mm-hmm. that kind of similarity. But uh, it was weird because it's like the whatever comes back, it's like it it's just, pissed. yeah, it just I it hates living anything that kind of pulls a uh, Superman from Justice League. You won't let me live, and you won't let me die. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that fucking weird stare at you as you run around him. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I don't know, man. Like uh Fred Gwynn nails the part, man. Yeah. But he I think it. but I think Creed really builds up what the film was uh needing is like he just wants to fix it, you know, almost very uh Hill House. Yeah. I can fix this. Like I can fix this, I can fix this. You know, like I'm gonna cradle my son in the graveyard and I'm gonna make this better, you know. And that's why your heart just twists and turns as when Gage, you see the fucking footprints, you know? And you're creeped out when he's grabbing the scalpel. You know, like, all these things are extra dark and menacing because you know it's like 
you know it's like the love for your 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 family member but here he's doing like the most horrific shit in the world mm-hmm. it's like where does your fucking baseline go you know it's like fuck dude that's why when he starts getting the syringe and stuff and prepared to do like the next step in what he has to do in the in like closer to the final act it's like shit dude like First I played with mommy. Now I want to play with you. God. <laughs> I'm going to teach Atticus to say that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be booted out the house. <laughs> Forget it. No fair. No fair. No fair. Yeah, right. Uh, oh, fuck that. That'd be scary. That'd be terrifying. No fair. No, no fair. fair. Uh, he, Dude, and this little kid can act, man. I mean, I know him from so many movies, but I mean... Kindergarten Cop, uh, Freddy's New Nightmare. Mm. He's always Miku. Yeah, he's so good. It's so surprising that he's like a DJ now. But that's awesome. It's like he opens you know, for Stevie Aoki. He's it's like, <laughs> it's like he would have been. A, he's a Aoki. terrific little kid actor. I mean, I don't. I don't know. I, I'm surprised he, he should come back. Yeah, I know. That's what most of the times I listen to anybody talk about Pet Cemetery, they always attack the acting, and it's. Yeah, you're right. Ellie's fucking bad, dude. Yeah. She's bad. Dale's forgivable. Denise Crosby is just so stiff. Mm. And then she kind of, I don't know, like, I don't know if they shot it out of order or how they it's just, it's how just, they shot it, but she she in some scenes has more energy, in other scenes she's just stonewall. Yeah. And it's like, ugh. And I think that's what was missing from the remake. I mean, like, the story... I did not like the wife in the remake. The story feels better in the original, but it looks better in the remake. Mm-hmm. You know, everything looks awesome. It's like, you know, you're watching an episode of Hannibal or something like that. It's like, fucking, this looks great. And then you, uh, yeah. Uh, the walk to the uh, Indian burial ground in the original. Mm-hmm. How do you think that was handled? Like, do you think they, like when he goes to that quarry and you actually see like the the rocks that are like literally cut from the quarry and stuff like that. Like they're doing that climb. And then when they get to the burial grounds, literally that configuration that they have to like walk into and mm-hmm. you get these big, massive wide shots. I mean, uh, thank God we didn't have Google imaging back then. <laughs> we had a lot more <laughs> Micmac burials. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Like, you know, it's just over there. Right there. Five miles from your property. <laughs> There's a quarry. <laughs> Dude. The How size. the fuck did Fred Gwynn get up that hill? <laughs> like, that's, that is an immediate concern. He's all they're leg. Like, He's all leg, dude. Like fucking rock climbing. The guy's rock climbing. He's just taking one step for <laughs> one step for Herman Munster. <laughs> you what? What was that word? Ayana, my client. Don't talk to me sitting in that chair. I don't like your attitude. What else is no? Now I'm holding you in contempt of court. Oh, it is a fucking surprise. What'd you say? What? <laughs> what would you, you say? say? <laughs> you will refrain from using that type of language in my court. Don't shake your head. I'm not done yet. Wait till you eat all things. What? Youth? To what? Youth. I'm sorry, Your Honor. Youth. <laughs> Once again, the communication process is broken down. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. You're a dead man. <laughs> I owe you an apology. <laughs> Oh, we deviate what so is much. That? What is that outfit? <laughs> this? This? Are you mocking me with that outfit? I did this for you. <laughs> <laughs> I bought a suit. You saw it. It's so a nice it's covered suit. in mud. <laughs> and the one hour dry cleaners got the flu. You get that? The whole store got, I got the flu. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, did you know originally George Romero was supposed to direct this? Yep. Um, he got paid $10,000 for the rights, but then he had to drop out because he was busy making monkey shines. Yep. Which really? I hadn't seen. Was that any good? It's is okay. that the one with the clapper? Yeah. yeah. I think I saw it back in the day. But Well, no. it's actually, the. I think it's the guy that's in the wheelchair, and he has that monkey that helps him. Right. Yeah, that's the cover. Yeah. Yeah. It's mm. a weird fucking scary monkey. Evil monkeys. Yeah, it was a crazy movie. And yes, uh, there was a writer strike during this, of course. Oh, lovely. Mm-hmm. Those are always 88. fun. 88. I don't know. I, I, I mean, for... Same thing that affected Halloween. Yeah, but for when they came out and what it did, I mean, it's... Man, I mean, I just can't imagine seeing this in theaters. This must have been 
a treat because it's Stephen King, and I think with this property, the book being what it was, it was a. I bet it was just. It was a, his bestseller, like all time bestseller. This is had it been a really fun theatrical experience. I wish. You know, I, I like I said, I think you reflect on it a certain way when you see it when you're at a certain age, as you grow up, and you kind of like you realize, you know, there's certain films that will stand the test of time, and some films are just. Yeah, I mean, going back to this was not a. It was slow for me. Like I, it I, was super slow. I but did not want to finish That cage it. scene fucking like had complete. Like back when I was a kid and watching this, I was like, "Oh fuck, that's terrible." But as a dad now, fuck, my heart it, sank. Yeah, it hits. Fuck, my hits heart sank. really close to home for you. God damn it! Both of y'all. When it shows that Polaroid shot of mm-hmm. like him just going through like oh, your your, ca- your kid's memories. life and flashing Del behind Mid-Kip your eyes. Scream during it. I mean, that is the best. Neil yelled to the sky, no, I've ever seen in a movie. Honestly, honestly, that's why I do not completely damn this man. Oh, yeah. But, but that that Darth Vader how his voice cracks when notes. he's screaming it. I mean, it was it was a perfect no. Yeah, everything else we'll see. And then the uh, <laughs> the burial scene when like he's just emotional as fuck, and that grandfather, the father in law, walks up and he's like, "Yo, you're oh, blah, 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 knocks the fuck." Oh man, that was just like. <laughs> what? What movie was that where she's like, I said it when you got married. I said them words, no good. (laughs) No country for old men. God damn it. Man, when he drops that boy's body, Uh, that would have been it. That motherfucker would have been like... Get a hold of yourself, man. It's your son's funeral. (laughs) Get the father-in-law his coffin. Oh, that guy would have been fucking dead. Sorry. Like, would have had two funerals that day. Crack your skull there in that pew. There ain't ten people that could hold me back from killing that bald prick. I oh, would dude. fucking kill him. Dude. <laughs> no way. I'm going to make my wife really rich really get, fast. Get another fucking casket. Yeah. <laughs> That's <laughs> it. That dude's going in it. We're going to put this mother... We're gonna, we're, hey, Gage, I'm getting you some padding for your fucking the bottom of your coffin, okay? <laughs> Papa's going to be fucking... That's your queen-size fucking bed. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Fuck that. Knock your kid's... Coughing over. I think the oh. only thing that I've well, ever seen. Well, to start shit at the fucking funeral. What the hell's wrong with you? Uh, I've seen like a lot of films and shows where like you see a parent lose a child. This one was a big one. I think the only thing that trumps shit. this one though is uh, if you ever watch Sons of Anarchy, man, there's this scene where the father has to literally watch his daughter uh, in a like a pit. Mm-hmm. Be uh, covered in gasoline and lit on fire right in front of him. Well, thanks for spoiling. So that. here's this girl. She's just screaming for her daddy, and Ugh. the dad's just being held like to watch his daughter just burn. And it's just like, dude, that is some dark shit. But the, how yeah, old was she? Maybe a, a teen. Yeah, oh, she was probably like eighteen, nineteen. Like you know, he loved you know his daughter. I mean, it's just like, dude, it's your fucking child, and they're being like basically incinerated in front of your eyes alive, burned alive. It was like, dude, that was some Sons of Anarchy dark shit. Mm-hmm. But yeah, uh, that's the only thing I could even think that could like gauge with the, this, uh, the loss <laughs> in Pet Cemetery. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard to see a kid that young. Oh, dude. And just the way he's so spaced out in the car when he knows he's about to go dig up his son and pull him out, it's just like yeah, he's just lost in it. Like, you can see he's fighting himself. You know, like when he pulls into the burial, pulls into the cemetery, and he's just sitting there, and he's like, you can see in his eyes, like, should I do this? Yes, I'm going to do this. No, you shouldn't do it. Like, it's a turmoil in himself. It's like, it's one thing to be a deceiving person as a man, and you're single, and you know you're lying to do th- certain things, but when you're deceiving as a father and a husband, it's like, next level. Because, like, mm-hmm. he's lying to his wife, he's lying to his daughter, He's lying to himself that this mm-hmm. is going to be okay. It's like, dude, like you don't, you're 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 snowballing this thing, and it's not going to be nice. See, I mean, you're you're going to fucking damn, you're going to destroy your fucking family pretty much. Mm-hmm. And it's like fucking Christ. Even with the uh, there'd be nothing left to him though. The way he was sitting in that road and the way that diesel was flying, 
Mm-mm. There wouldn't be a body left. That's why it's weird that they, they do the goo. droopy eye on Ellie in the remake. In this one, he has that cracked skull where yeah. at least he has that scar where like you can tell he stitched That's something that I really liked in the new one is when he's bathing her and you see the, stitching the in the back. back of her head. And yeah. it's like, oh, fuck. I was listening to a podcast of the somebody interviewing the directors that did the remake. And it was interesting that they yeah. had both, like after they made their first film, they experienced loss. Like one guy lost his dad. The other guy lost his little sister or his big sister who got hit by a fucking car, a drunk driver. Jesus. And I'm like, wouldn't this fuel creativity Creativity when you're dealing with pet cemetery? Or emotion. You know what I mean? That, that was one thing that we both, I think all three of us fucking hated is that there was not the emotional connectivity and, in the remake. And that's what makes me even sadder is like, if that's how much a, a studio meddles in a project... I go, that's sad. I don't think they did a lot of money. Because when you have money involved, it might have been their call to say. Well, then, I mean, the new one costed. Do we, we remember what that costed? Yeah. Um, um, but for it to fall in its. Not, not, I'm not saying fall in its face, but it's like here it is X amount of like days yeah. after its release and nobody's talking yeah. about it. Like nobody mentions it like uh, at all. Yeah. No, like the 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 remake had a budget of twenty one million. That's pretty expensive. Yeah, that's a lot of money just sitting so, there. So that's, that's half of the but that's half of the box office for the original. And that's, pretty, that's pretty expensive when you look at fucking Bloomhouse's new Halloween that was only eight million, and you look at f- any anything, a Bloomhouse's fucking, fucking looking, work that's yeah, all five million. Get split or glass, I mean, yeah, or, or Get Out. Yeah, I mean Get Out was I think fifteen, eight. It was eight. No, you're right. I think it was 15 because we found out it was eight million to make the movie, and the rest is like on fucking uh, press or something like yeah. that. Yeah. So I mean, press and marketing and all that. Yeah. shit. 21 minutes. That's a lot. And they pumped the shit out of this movie. Like they it did. was. Mm-hmm. And th- that's what lets me down is that. So they probably put 10 million on the movie, the 11 million in marketing. Probably. Yeah. yeah. And it's just that trailer ended up revealing way too way fucking too, much. God damn it! I wish they would learn. Yeah. Well, take a note from the fucking Russo brothers. Yeah, because I mean... Fake images or fake fucking scenes in the fucking trailers. That's so. smart. You can't tell what's I, fucking in I, the movie. Yeah, part of your brain still wants to say that Hulk was in the Black Panther scene. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, it's like, oh, yeah, you fought in Wakanda. It's like, nah. No. no they digitized him out and put in... Hulkbuster. Uh-huh. Hulkbuster. Yeah. Which is Loki. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, that's fucking funny. Sidebar. <laughs> All right, did y'all see the footage for Mandalorian? Uh, I saw like the reveal, but I didn't see like the actual like I thought the HD footage. footage. Mandalorian Ooh. looks magical. Ooh. Yeah, it does. I thought that was canceled. No, no, no the the yeah. Disney Plus show. Yeah, what's the little? Oh, it's okay. It's not yeah, a it's movie. A show. What's okay. the? They show that one scene where like what's the little rodent that Jabba has? Uh, Salacious Crumb or something like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah Salacious they show crumb. him on like a barbecue pit, being like it's like oh, his species or something like that. It's yeah, just like yeah. in a pit, like they're serving. And the Mandalorian's just walking around. And if you ever seen Game of Thrones, uh, the guy that fights the mountain, mm-hmm. uh, that big badass battle where yeah, he yeah. fights for Tyrion, uh, you know what I'm talking about? He's like the Hispanic I know the guy. Scene, but I know. He's like, you killed my sister. I'm gonna fucking slaughter yeah, yeah. the mountain in front of everybody. That's the actor who's playing uh, the Mandalorian. Really? And I was like, oh shit, they got like a really oh, good shit. actor to play the Mandalorian. I was like, <sighs> I can't wait. Don't have to spend that money to get that oh, Disney wait. Plus now. Oh, I'm totally, oh, yeah. totally buying that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's great. I'm oh, sorry. All right, let's go back to fucking yeah. not happy land. Jesus <laughs> Where nothing ever happens that goes well for the Creed family. Woo. All right. Let's just get to the end. Uh <laughs> So Gage goes into Judd's house. What did you think about the original scene, the Achilles heel? Anything with the Achilles tendon, eyeballs, or fingernails will just ruins my fucking day. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking ruins it. So I'm like, God, that damn it. slice, dude. <laughs> yep. that, I forgot that it split open. Like it shows it split. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, the separation. Oh. Fuck. You're going to fuck up a guy's golf swing. Yeah, the guy's 6'8". <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You fucked up yeah, his you leg for life. Up that guy. He's going to fall like a fucking bag of potatoes, man. Yeah. And he probably fell and broke his hip Jeez. on the way down. So, And before you oh. can scream, right, right, oh, right across dude. his mouth. God damn it. Rough. Yeah, that's rough. He just like almost peels him open. Like. I love how he's wearing that big top hat, though. I'm like, yeah. what a cute little fucking kid. Like, you buried him in that. <laughs> like, you realize that? <laughs> Buried in like a dress. Yeah. It's like well, a green and black dress. It's like a painting. 
in the yeah it's a the, painting in the uh, in in the uh, in laws house in laws house yeah because yeah. whenever she's on the phone trying to reach uh, Creed, if you look at the painting behind her, it's that painting. Uh, and I think in the, the book, it's it's mm-hmm. it's an image. Mm-hmm. It's more like an illusion. Yep. Mm. Like oh, but it's oh, like, like the okay. demons fucking with. I got gotcha. the imagery. Yeah, kind of like or how it, and it's like dressed on, up for like uh, St. Patty's Day or something. Yeah, <laughs> Big but Tom came. He's obviously Irish. He has a knife. <laughs> yep. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's essentially like you said. It's like the demon trying to fuck with her, kind of like how they did in the fucking uh, the remake. Whenever uh, the girl's face was like changing. In front mm. of Judd. Yeah. All I keep thinking now is like Gage having like Daniel Day Lewis's no right. voice from <laughs> Never King, takes Kings the of blood New York. Off. <laughs> he has no heart. It's like, damn, oh, Daniel Day Lewis. <laughs> Liam uh, needs to be like, Never wipe the blood off, son. <laughs> God, I love it. We need to review Kings of New York. That's kind Gangs. of a horror film. Gangs. Gangs. Sorry, I was thinking about the Christopher Walken King of New York. No. Oh, Frank Black. Damn. Chris Rock. Ooh, wow. Y'all got fat while I was away. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Jesus. Um, yeah. I, and then, you know, the phone call to his dad. And, you know, I already played with mommy. Uh, you know, Lewis goes over there. I. It's when it, so crazy when she drops. Dude, yeah, I was about <laughs> like, to say, when that body drops, the mom. Mm-hmm. I was like, and dude. it straight up looks like a Chucky doll in that attic. When it, oh, it's, yeah. It's not gauge. It's, no. It's like no. a plastic doll for well like even reason. if you if you watch like the behind the scenes on it it is it is a doll oh yeah yeah it's uh, an actual doll it's not gauge i wish they would have shown a scene uh when the mom Drop. is hanging there i just want a scene of like zelda pushing her body like oh, that sitting would, by yeah. it. just because like that's almost like the demon's denouement of like getting the sister finally mm-hmm. or fucking satisfying that urge of like taking her finally yeah because that was always the big like come to zelda kind of shit i was like oh shit it's only like come to henrietta and evil mm. dead too she had dementia your parents were fucked up for yeah. leaving you alone with them you're taking a volume I was like, yes give me <laughs> you should have been a doctor can god you? i didn't know you had drugs on you can at you, your house can we take a 3d print that shit i will take a colada <laughs> pen as well <laughs> And it only took five minutes to make. God damn, I'd interstellar myself so fucking fast. <laughs> they should have done the remake with James Woods as Judd. <laughs> that... <laughs> there you go. Would have been perfect. God, hey, awesome. keep your fucking kid out of the fucking road. Hey, he actually walks across the street with Amer- Make America Great Again hats. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Jesus, no. I don't I don't do the fucking main accent. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I'm from Chicago. <laughs> you wanna help me fix my wall? Me fence. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Woods, you're needed on set. <laughs> Jesus. Get him in the car. Go, go, go. <laughs> God, that would have been great. <laughs> Oh, that would have been funny and horrible at the same fucking time. <laughs> oh, man. All right. The the mom returns, half of her face gone, gooey, gloopy, oh. fucking the like. The fact Eli- that he kisses her. Eli Roth hostile sticky, man. It yeah. was like, oh, man. It was goop. Dude, fix your fucking face. <laughs> that shit on your face got some shit on your face. Jesus Christ! <laughs> it's like oozing out of the face oh. and getting into their mouths. Oh. Oh. That is the sloppy. That's like kissing somebody with a cold. Like, <laughs> he reaches into the sink and grabs a bottle of goo gone. <laughs> just clean this up. He grabs the kitchen kitchen rag, starts dabbing her. Here, that'll, hold that shit to your face real quick. That'll buff out, right? <laughs> I mean, you could not wax that ass. <laughs> no way. No. Even if no. she came back horny and not homicidal. No. <laughs> what do you bathe that in? <laughs> Bleach. <laughs> Just fucking wrap yeah, that yeah. up. I'm going to Costco. Yeah, it gives you another hole to fuck, so I guess. <laughs> Blah! <laughs> It's a full metal jacket oh. reference. Come on. Gives a whole new definition to skull fuck. Oh. <laughs> or I will gouge out your eyeballs and skull fuck you. Oh, Ralph went there, ladies. 
Oh. I've been hanging out with you too he's much. Talking about a seventy-inch tube, and now he's skull fucking you oh. through the eye. And one eye willying it. <laughs> oh, I'm going to make you a one eye willy. Be, be careful! She'll stab you in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, and then the film just cuts to black. <laughs> and then you hear the remote. Ralph's moment in this was the worst. <laughs> if, if that was in the movie, it'd probably be the scariest movie ever made. Golly. The next scene, he's like, hmm. <laughs> he gives that look. <laughs> She's like, no fair, <laughs> no fair. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god no fair no is that gonna fair. heal up <laughs> that is oh god dang good lord i need the big tube of neosporin <laughs> <laughs> industrial this sized is, this is ridiculous <laughs> dude that shit is so gooey it's uh, like slime uh, it looks like jason in part eight he's yeah, just that, perpetually that soaked but amazing it's enough, her, her peripheral is still better than Scotty's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh. oh. I, like the, I like the look a lot more for Victor Pascal in this, too. Yeah. It, it actually looked like a fucking side head injury. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. Like I was complaining about the remake, how... Like his brain was in his jaw. Yeah. Like this one, it's like, you know, where it's it, supposed it felt, to be. You can tell it's like a cracked skull. Yeah. I've seen him. And this one was it's like not a pretty sight. And this being explained the way he was, I mean, I don't know. It was just, it sold it better. It sold it. I don't know. It felt. I like him in this. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't like him in the new one. He was menacing, I think, more in the original. <sighs> menacing. I, I find him more of a, a spirit, like a spiritual come guide, on, if you come will. Come on, Doc. It's like, let's go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're right. I mean, yeah. I could, don't go to the place where they, the dead speak or whatever the fuck. When you're says. dead, can you like the change this? Can you <laughs> not look like that? Can Can you blink and like yeah. change how you look? You ever seen uh, Robin Williams? Uh, what dreams may come? Can you like turn to Cuba Gooden Jr. or something? <laughs> 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 Kiss me. So, <laughs> <laughs> no fair. No fair. <laughs> it's been a while since I snot, shot a snot rocket out my nose. He was vaping Lovely. through his fucking nose. <laughs> yeah, fuck. Watermelon can. guy's leaking. <laughs> Hang on. Uh, ah, there we go. <laughs> all right, now pitch me another film from Joel Silver. Come on. What do you got? What do you got? Matrix. <laughs> Sorry. It's Joel Silver. <laughs> You're friends with him. Yep. Right He's there. on his speed dial. Let's wrap this up. All right. Uh, final thoughts. Final. Th- oh no no no. no, no. Well, oh yeah. Final thoughts. Final thoughts. thoughts. Oh, yeah. No, wait, 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 wait. no, 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 no. Wasting time, time over. Here. <laughs> <laughs> no no no. Go, go for go? it. Go for it. You want to go? No, no, go? You go. Go ahead, Ralph. Go ahead. Jeff? Me. I'll go. You Nate? go. You. Me. You. All right. <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that? We're waiting. We're waiting. Oh, it's a, it's a uh, drum roll. It's uh, a drum roll. Uh, there we go. All right. Here we go. Here I come. All right. <laughs> um, beginning to end, this film has a one just drone throughout the film. It's going to be melodram- dr- melodramatic and kind of just utter fucking destruction for a family. Uh, it's beautiful how they play the emotion scenes i understand the acting's hard to swallow if you can get by it it's really a solid film um does it stand the the, you know the test of time i don't know it's you got to be in the mood for it there's a lot of films that i feel like are that way these days uh you'll find one person that will watch a a dead and buried and find it as being like this you know unearthing like a, a a a forgotten treasure and then you'll see some people see it you know they'll like instantly forget it you know but I think with Pet Cemetery, it's a classic tale. It's fun to go back to. And I think uh, if you have the time for it and you're in the right mood, it's fun. Uh, the music's there. The direction's there. Sound. Everything's good to a lot of levels that pay an uh, honest homage to uh, Stephen King's uh, original literature. Uh, apparently, there's this amazing documentary. I forget the title of it. I'll try to dig it up in a second. But the documentary is a must-see if you enjoy the original. Um, but it's a definite recommend for me. Not a solid buy, but definitely a, a 
I recommend. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Nathan. Um. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, you know, I as watching, I haven't watched this in probably a good five years. Um, rewatching it for under the guise of being a podcast reviewer. Um, God, uh, nostalgia. That's what way. you call yourself nowadays. Well, that is uh, our official uh, title. <laughs> so. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I guess. I, 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 I think we're just here more to shit on movies. I, I was going to say, we're 30-year-old men that sit here and drink beer and shit on movies. Yeah, <laughs> choke on vape smoke. <clears throat> Anywho, um, I, I, really, <laughs> I really find this to weigh very heavily towards the nostalgia. I, I saw it at a young age. It fucked me up. And rewatching it as an adult, if I was to recommend this to somebody who's never seen it that's my age they'd probably be like well that was fucking boring because they don't get the nostalgia trip from it um it is a wrestling with your mortality movie it is a movie about hey i'm trying to make things right but i'm digging my own grave um i would i would recommend it i would say it's uh definitely a buy for people that have seen it back in the day for new age people, it's definitely a rent. Uh, you should see this. It's it's a classic, like Jeff said. It's a, a good tell. Just with some very bad acting. <coughs> yeah, that's that's very true. I, I can agree with that. Uh, pretty much Jeff and Nathan took everything that I was going to pretty much say about it. Um, for me, this movie, like I didn't even get a chance to tell you all when I got to see it. I didn't get to see this till sophomore year of college really like this movie is fairly recent in comparison to everything that i've watched um and back then i was like man i wasn't really digging it because of like you said the acting everyone kind of shits on it and there it, i'm not gonna lie i do shit on the acting for it granted it does have that emotional tether you know um they do sell the the loss that the father went through when it came to that and emphasizing on how much of a broken man he is after after that all being said and done. Because the story, I don't know if we touched on it, it's him trying to get away from the day-to-day -day life of, at work and spending time with his family only for his family to fall apart because of because of death and un, and just the untimely nature of everything. Because you, you can't control when someone's going to fucking die. Yeah. You, you can't control that. And to go out to the countryside to spend time with his family only for them to literally just die on him. I can really fuck a person up. And like you, like Nate was saying earlier with him being a dad now, it, it's devastating to watch regardless of how horrible the acting is. Like he, he could have said, he could have done the worst. No in it, regardless to see him, just see someone lose their child is heartbreaking. And this movie really does sell that regardless if, you're a new new age horror kid like me or one of these guys have seen this when they were children or whenever it first came out or whenever it was in theater, regardless of when the story still hits home. And for me, this movie, it, this one for me is a buy. I recommend getting this movie, especially if you want something to regardless if to just make fun of or to actually enjoy a good story. Gotcha. Like I would 100% recommend this over the remake. 100%. Like, if you want something visually appealing, go for the remake. But if you want, like, something that has a heart to it, go with the original, for sure. Gotcha. Well, and I think that's something that, that's different about the remake. Ellie is of age where she is learning that the world is kind of shitty. She knows about death. She's got questions about it. Where Gage dying in this movie it was just innocence. It's just, yeah. Just pure innocence get taken away. And... As a father, fuck, fuck, <laughs> I would, I, I would never be the same. I, I probably would, I probably would fucking swallow a bullet. I don't think I can handle it. Well, it's weird in the the original that Ellie plays like this emotional psychic sounding board, and mm. she's able to be more verbal about it <clears throat> than Gage was in the remake. Yeah, was it? What does she call him? Pa pa cow? Pa pass cow or cow or. Yeah, you're right. Like yeah, she, she, mu she muddles the word, the name, he's, like Pascal or something. Yeah, like that. and then she. Uh, I love the way the like, ghost talks to them, the the girl and the moms. Yeah. Like, God, when she like Pascal, Pascal. I was like, mm -hmm. oh. 
<laughs> that did throw me off was a little that, bit, was, though, because, like... Did I order that coffee with like three sugars or two sugars? Two. Okay, yeah, because... <laughs> <it's like, laughs> yeah. Get did I pay. remember to take my tampon out? It, it's just, I think I <laughs> yeah. think that's not, I think that's something that the... By the, the way, get the Krispy Kreme. Tri- <laughs> I need Krispy Kreme. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's something that the the fucking trailer. Fu- I honestly think the trailer ruined the new one mm-hmm. for me. Yeah. I think, I think everybody much. feels it. Yeah, it just way too much reveal. I think if you would have played it, everything plays better if they take a note from the Dark City trailer. You show imagery over sound. You don't do any kind of verbal lines or anything from the film. All you should have done is like the score and that, and that drum. Yeah. Yeah, just playing movie. the drum sound with the Pet Cemetery kids doing the thing and just showing imageries of the family would have just been perfect. Just certain beats. Or the Texas Chainsaw Or if you're going to show... Oh, El- where it, was just like the, it was just the noise and you just got like the <laughs> still images of everyone right. just screaming. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah. Running they, through the towels. They revealed way too much. The big change was Ellie dies. So they showed in the fucking trailer. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, they... Hug your daughter. If they would have shown the drumming scene from the remake mm-hmm. and cutting back and forth to the beginning of the film with a drone shot and the like the murder sequence, yeah, yeah. that would have been. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's a perfect pet trailer. Pet pet granted, it might not have saved the movie, but perfect trailer. Honestly, yeah. I'm gonna have to rewatch the remake, even though I don't want to because mm-hmm. I, I was severely let down by it. Did you have something you wanted to talk about though about the remake? You said you ha- you kind of wanted to fix what you kind of said. About yeah, the- I didn't want to be so harsh on it. Oh, okay, um, gotcha. Uh, I. I the last episode, I think we all just got on the shit on it train. Um, I think we're we, just unhappy. We tried. Well, we uh, remember at the beginning of the podcast, I was like, hey, let's, yeah, let's tone it down. And then 15 minutes into it, it was like, we, were, we can't contain this anymore. Fuck we were like, yeah, I was, we were like, you know, Jeff was, you could see Jeff like foaming at the mouth. And we were like Ebony Maw from fucking Infinity War. Let him have his fun. And just, <laughs> Jeff just unleashed. What, I, what I'd like to fix about, about last week's episode is that. I'm not going to say avoid. Um, I think a newer generation, a younger generation, will appreciate it. Gotcha. Uh, it's not for people who saw the original back when they were kids. Obviously, me, Jeff, and, you know, Ralph saw it. You know, recent, well, what College. eight years ago? Uh, so, so about. 12, yeah, 12 there years ago. <laughs> well, there you go. Whatever. I don't. <laughs> you could have went to college when you were 35. I don't think Math's know. not my strong point either. I'm only half Asian. But, I'm saying, I, but I, I think... <laughs> <laughs> I think I think for a newer generation, it's it's okay. Gotcha. Um, and I, I don't... Man, I hate that we shit on it so bad, but we just saw it. So it was like mm. Supreme Letdown still holding, and we recorded. So, yeah, um, yeah I... Kind of like to remedy that a little bit. I I think, Do you think the new one's competently shot. It's got good acting. Uh, the score is good. The score is fucking great. Yeah. It just everything that was exciting or different they showed in the fucking trailer. Yeah. Do you? It, th- it would have been different if Ellie. Di- okay, we know Ellie dies from the trailer, but if Gage and Ellie both got taken, oh, out, that would have been a, that would have been something. You should have thrown a something punch. else. You had the perfect chance to show us the Gage scene. Mm-hmm. And when they didn't happen, I would have been shocked. Right. They could have played that. Mm-hmm. I don't know why they didn't play that. They, 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 they should have shot. In the trailer, they should have showed the dad running for the kid again. That's it. You would be it. like, fuck, I don't want to watch Gage die again. And yeah. never show any of the Ellie shit. Yeah. It's like, they, they just revealed way too much. So yeah. I'm going to blame the studio on that and not the movie makers. And hell, even like redub that trailer and says, hug your daughter, hug your child. <sighs> Yeah, or just leave easy. it the fuck out. That, that would have been easy to fix an ADR. They could have just shown a, a little hand coming up from the dirt, and then um, the title card. You know what I mean? Or fucking was... paw. Meow. <laughs> 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 yeah. Uh, um, do you think the ending of the uh, remake kind of? I like the ending more. It's it. But when I think about it now, it's like, what did Creed want to do the whole time? He wanted his family to stay together, together forever. Yeah. And the end, they're together forever. Yeah. And they're going to collect Gage. And the last thing you hear is... Tick, tick. It's like, oh, no wow. fair. <laughs> <laughs> but do you think... Do Don't you, let anybody into this car. Do you think, do, do. Do you think they would have killed Gage, though? Oh, yeah. yeah. That's the fucking Fuck movie. That, it's like that's Ellie, why, killed that's why the beginning scene is the, the drone coming up on the car and the car doors open and blood 
tracks her going towards the house. But I'm thinking also, Ellie didn't kill Judd until Judd didn't accept her. Uh, right, 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 and, right, right. Uh, Ellie didn't kill the mother until the mother didn't accept her. I think she, and I think Ellie, the as, as the, the demon, knew that Judd wasn't going to stand for it and had a gun. I think that's the whole reason she went over to kill Judd, is because he was a threat. I think, but Gage wouldn't pose as a threat. Exactly, but... Would they raise the, him as... The mom really didn't pose as a threat other than the rejection. She, she totally rejected her. Yeah, totally rejected oh, her. You're not my daughter. But <clears throat> but I'm saying, it, it, like, hey, we're all going to be a family, you know, by her Hug killing your daughter. Him, killing the dad. That's not my daughter. They, yeah, they definitely killed Yeah, that's Gage. true, because... Yeah, Ellie Any... didn't go after the dad until he started rejecting everything. Yeah. yeah. So I'm thinking, like, would, would the demon feel the necessary to kill Gage, you know? No, nah, If yeah. he cries and he tries to run from him, then obviously that's going to provoke the death. Mm-hmm. Well, that's what the opening scene is with the car door open and the blood smears all over. I don't know. Yeah. I'm sure they killed Gage. Um, I'm sure it was, it was to, like you said, it's to keep your family together. You know, and that's why church hopped up on the hood, and they're all right there. Yeah, they, they finalize it. Now there should have been some myth, mythos of wanting to keep a family together, like something something about that. Uh, like that's what the Wendigo's intentions are: is, mm-hmm. is to make everybody as it is. You know. Yeah, it's like I what, don't know. Yeah, like what know. do you do? Like there's a way you, to fix it. I I'm just I don't know. Yeah, it, it is. I mean, if you want to go with the best way of enjoying the Pet Cemetery, you read the book. Yeah, everything yeah. else is just like I don't know interpretations. Somebody's artistic interpretation of the master idea. Yeah, and that's pretty much how every movie that that comes out that's, that's based off of a Stephen book. King, yeah. It's it's an it's an interpretation that you took from the book that yeah. and you took your favorite parts and then took your own liberties with it. That's yeah. literally all they are. Yeah. But what are good ones? That's a, that would be a, I a wish, fun episode. I wish they would have fucking... Mm. That would be a fun yeah. chit-chat. This could be a series. This could be a TV series. There, if, there, it, there if, could it invo- be a if it involved the of... town, I'd see it as a TV yeah. series. Yeah, or timelines. Yeah. I would say man. study it like the history... Like how it... He went to the, hit, the library, and here you go. You're and getting that yeah. fucking backstory. creepy librarian. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> like if you didn't I'm work... so shocked I never noticed that. You and me, bro. <laughs> we were the two that didn't fucking see it. I saw it, it twice, and I didn't see it. And then Jeff brought it up, and I was like, what? Mm-hmm. And rewatched Sammy it, brought... and I was like, god damn, that's... Ugh. Yeah, <laughs> I was really you got chickens. You old there? bitch. <laughs> I'm curious to see the second one, man, because I know they yeah. they went that the trailer's day. supposed to be dropping here pretty soon. Can't wait. They, they showed a little bit of it at a recent convention of yeah. some caliber, the, somewhere. CinemaCon or something. CinemaCon, CinemaCon yeah, 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 yeah. I'm pissed that they they changed uh, director of photography. They Did they? Back, they? Same director. Is still in. They got Bush a different Lady? DP. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no. Cool. I just, this DP for this one was. Yeah, you you, you look at his IMDb. Everything he's ever touched is gold. Gold. It's fucking still what same about writers. The new guy. I don't know. Mm. What about the out. new guy? Have you seen the new guy's IMDb? I don't. I didn't really look it up. I just know it's a different oh, guy. No, this is yeah. a good job. I mean, it's all right. DPs listen to what the director wants. Yeah. You know what I mean? If the director. <laughs> the director says, "Hey, I want these shots." Him and the DP collaborate, and then the DP's the actual one that. All right, Mark, Mark, Mark. Yeah. This is where we need it. Then again, so. the the director for Blade Runner twenty forty nine didn't win an Oscar. The DP did. Oh, cinematographer won a fucking Oscar because he's he a magic. That was magic. Oh, I love that film. All right, hit my fucking music. Is this Aussie conditioner? That is fine hide leather. <laughs> you have never felt soccer pants. Let me hear you say, baby. You're really right up there. Like, 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 like a fucking Pepsi commercial. Okay, we're gonna tear it off. Ready? One, two. We've got a bleeder! (laughs) (laughs) What's it say, mommy? You're goddamn 10 years old. You can't read the fucking sign. Fucking dumbass. <laughs> Break out my goddamn Blotterville hook. Newsflash. If you believe in God, then all cats are his cats. You stupid child. 
Uh, Denise Crosby, grab my goddamn Vlauderville hook, please. Motherfucker, I just spent $300 on getting this cat's nuts clipped. <laughs> Lewis uses a wet cloth on his face, yet he never wets the cloth. That cloth, sirs, is from the previous night, which means you are soaking your face with an assy water cloth. <laughs> Stephen King looks like he was born in Whoville. <laughs> Dale Midkiff, you are in serious danger of my Vlauderville hook. Man, I should have been a doctor. Tired of hearing your wife's backstory? Valium! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me, I'll never listen to Sheena as a punk rocker at high speeds again. <laughs> Groundskeeper Willie's going to be pissed. <laughs> More meows than a Vietnamese game of Russian roulette. <laughs> Meow! <laughs> I'm Nathan, and that's g -g 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 good stuff. <laughs> um, uh, a couple of recommends uh, for everybody that uh, took note of uh, Ralph stating as the 30th anniversary of Pet Cemetery. It is now out in a 4K remaster on Blu-ray and 4K with a beautiful case. So, by the way. yeah, there's a Mondo version. Yeah, still Mondo book? version. Uh, I think you could find that at Best Buy. Mm -hmm. And uh, like I said, it's on 4K Ultra uh, Blu-ray and it's on regular Blu-ray. It's a 4K remaster, so everything looks. You know, it's just as it good looked uh, coming off of that thirty-five uh, crisp, crisp thirty-five millimeter print. Uh, the other thing I looked up was the uh, documentary. I think it was on Amazon Prime recently. I think now it's on Shutter, but it's called "Unearth and Untold: The Path to Pet Cemetery," oh, which that's is a uh, fucking beautiful. Yes, yeah, sir. Sorry, that was beautiful. <laughs> Twenty bucks at Best Buy. Yeah, um, the but, cat heads the dirt. I love that. Oh, that's the original. Uh, I think hardcover or uh, artwork. The uh, that's the one that pulled up. There we go. That one, oh, show, it. show, make sure it's the right one here. This is the Mondo one. That's the still, oh. that's the still book. Oh. I kind of like that one more. Yeah, I like that one more too. But this is a still book to have that's eventually. Fucking rad. And it's cool that Mondo got involved with this one because, like I said, the 30th anniversary release. Oh, there it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. but uh, yeah, that documentary. Uh, Richard. If you enjoy the original at all and you want a further look, it's an hour and 15 minutes of just behind-the-scenes stuff on the original. So That's it's cool. cool. I mean, it's like uh, we always talk about, uh, you know, the way a lot of these Scream Factory releases do. That's fucking badass. Right? Uh, but, yeah. I'm uh, torn on which one I want. Those are two solid uh, recommends I'd give you. Uh, you know, go check out that new remaster and definitely uh, look up that documentary and give it a, give it a chance. What was the documentary called? Uh, Unearthed. And untold, untold. Okay, I think I have to do that. I have to take a look at that one. Yeah, because I've I've bought almost every other horror documentary now. Yeah. <laughs> and this one's kind of creepy because like the cover is literally like Gage's coffin. Mm -hmm. This looks like oh weird. Perfect. Uh, but I guess that wraps up for this episode. So we were uh, mentioning in the past couple episodes that we were going to do Hellboy. Um, I don't think we can fit it in. I think we're going to release a, uh, since we're kind of in the habit of doing remakes, I think we're going to release a, what we'd like to see, remake general discussion episode. And after that, fuck, Child's Place coming up in theaters. We got to fucking check that out. With Mark Hamill! And, and we might as well just tackle the series, man. That's one that people have been bothering us about forever to fucking get into. I don't know. Yeah, I stopped responding to emails because of that. Yeah, maybe they want us to shit all over. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I, okay, we'll do I, it. I told <laughs> Jeff, here, you can have the fucking keys back on the emails. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Delete. <laughs> I was like, no. Would you like to delete your account? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so yeah, I think we're I think we're gonna do our um, annual uh, Texas Wait. Frightmare episode. Wait. Yep. And then we're going to probably jump into Child's Play, unless Shark Week's coming up, but I don't know when that fucking is. Yeah. Shark Week. I think that's like middle of summer, isn't it? Yeah, I thought so. I thought it was June, but if we're in the in, the, June. in the breast of Child Play. What was coming? <laughs> <laughs> you see his fucking eyes? <laughs> what? His eyes got about as big as I've yeah, Jared <laughs> just showed up. <laughs> <laughs> We're in the sweet bosom of child's play. <laughs> uh, you're a fucking dirty bird. <laughs> no fair. What's coming out in late May? That we're that we're all gonna see that we're talking about uh, Godzilla King of Monsters. Mm, God damn big it! One. <laughs> Nate's God fucking damn it. Let, let me let me redo this. Mothra in a fucking waterfall. Whoosh. Whoosh. 
Whoosh! Ten million dollars. <laughs> yeah, just hold my phone. Hold, hold my, my phone. phone. <laughs> hold my phone. I'm holding it. <laughs> trailer for trailer. Trailer for trailer. <laughs> Halloween. Uh, I fucking love that episode. I re-listened to that so many goddamn times. Pre-orders already beat that movie. (laughs) (laughs) You want to guess on the worldwide box office? No, I like to say domestic. (laughs) Yeah, well. Did I give you wood? What? Huh? You get a little mahogany from that, a little ebony? Come on, tell the truth. I'm just fucking with your father. Forget about it. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. What did it make in Paris, fucking Texas, sir, Jeff? <laughs> France. <laughs> Ooga Ooga Laga. Laga. <laughs> <laughs> That's his favorite Ogden. fucking city. Ogden, Utah. <laughs> N- N- Ogden, Utah. Ooga Laga is his two favorite cities. Fucking Eureka, California. <laughs> if you're from any of these cities that he's mentioning, send us an email. We'd love to hear from you. Don't recommend Child's Play. Please. We, Recom- we get... We've God, recommend so Children many. of the Corn. No. No, 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 no. If you want Nate to quit, that's your best bet. <laughs> I will never visit oh that shit. Can you know Ugalaga the, or Chill nah, I've been the to Ugalaga. It's Go the full got moon. a wonderful Dairy Queen. Start going to the full moon releases. Start at subspecies. Oh, no, 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 That'll be my day de- 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 <laughs> That will be my dick. <laughs> You've got a filthy mind today, sir. <laughs> That's what you said. De- Denouement. I thought it was Leprechaun. That was going to be the final episode. No, I don't. I fucking, who gives a fuck? I'll say good day, sir. Good day. I said good day. <laughs> you see the doors. I'll, I'll save you all the trouble. Do not buy <laughs> Troll 2. be like, hi, I'm Nathan, and we're talking about, what are we talking about? Good day. <laughs> right. the well, see ya. <laughs> the entire episode is just the, the just a loop of fuck this shit, I'm out. <laughs> For an hour. <laughs> we'll just put a random movie title. See who picks up on it. Subspecies. I've got no more fucks to give. <laughs> Subspecies 2, Bloodstone. Oh, no, 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 no. no. We've got, we've got plenty <laughs> to review. Oh, I remember what I wanted to recommend. Uh oh, Wishmasters. Yeah, Ooh. the three of them. Man, that second one's fucking chick farts fucking coins. <laughs> That's something worth reviewing. <laughs> all right of those there, are. sir. Yeah, we're farting coins. <laughs> no, no, all of the films. We, we yeah. talking half dollars? Or are we talking like gold dollars? Oh, we're talking fucking goddamn sand dollars. Yeah, <laughs> meow, meow, <laughs> meow. She goes, ooh. <laughs> Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Such a fucking weird scene. Jesus. I don't know yeah. if I want to watch this movie. Oh. <laughs> Trust me, it's better than troll or subspecies. <laughs> She's right. <laughs> yeah, <I> can't. <laughs> we'll catch you next time. Right. I'm Nathan. This is Jeff. And this is Ralph. Eat scared. Thank you for listening to Deep in the Horror of Texas. Be sure to like and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. If you like what you hear, please leave a review on the iTunes or Stitcher radio app. And above all, remember to keep it scary. They're ready to go down. Got this circle going to the disco to go go.